I am sure this recipe is definitely tasty, definitely tasty. Just as sure as I am that the sun rises from the east. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello YouTube fam, I'm back again with another banger. If you're new here, please press that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you're able to get notifications of when I upload a video. But for today's video, I am still in the kitchen just like the other time. I was going to make dinner then I thought why not shoot a video of what I'm cooking so yeah today we are going to make chicken and I'm sure that this recipe is really amazing okay well from my side I have tasted it and I know it is amazing but for this specific video I'm going to have someone tasting and find out whether it is as tasty as I think it is so yeah, karibu sana and let's get straight into the video. In this bowl, I already have my chicken marinated. I put some little light soy sauce, salt, paprika, and just rub them together and put them aside for like seven hours. So most definitely the flavors are marinated nicely inside. On the side I have the intestines which I usually don't put them on the heat first until when it comes to stewing so this I'll leave aside with the rest of the ingredients. I had initially put my oil on the fire so I guess by now it's ready so we'll just take a piece of the chicken and try check if it's okay. Yeah, definitely it's fine. So I'll dip the chicken into my hot oil. So yeah. I'm not sure all the pieces will fit here. And I'll just try and put them all together. As I wait for the chicken to get crispy and iveyani kidogo, as I wait for that to happen, <laughs> I have the little marinade that remained, which I will also use in making the stew. So keep it locked. So the chicken is already ready. And I have all the other ingredients to make the stew. I have ginger, garlic, diced and peeled tomatoes, onions. I have my a bit of curry powder, mixed spices. These are those two intestines from the chicken. And this is the leftover marinade that I had put aside. And here I have tomato paste. Begin my process by putting in my onions in the sulfuria and very little oil because I feel like after frying the chicken definitely has a bit of oil on it so yeah put in my tomatoes onions <laughs> sorry and let them cook at this point my onions are almost ready so I'll add in my ginger and my garlic so that they cook together and I wait for the onions to turn brown, golden brown. At this point, I'll definitely add my tomato. And with the tomato, I add in my spices so that they can cook together in Okenya. I'll add in the curry powder. Then I'll add the mixed spices. To help my tomatoes cook, since I didn't put a lot of oil, I add just a bit of water. Then cover it to help 
the tomatoes cook for a bit. So as the tomatoes keep cooking, I add a tablespoon of tomato paste. Cover this just for two minutes and wait for it to cook. Add a bit of the coriander, just a bit for the flavor. So that your stew can be flavorful and also colorful. The tomatoes are more or less cooked at this point, so together with that. I'm going to put in my chicken. Look how beautiful that chicken looks. So yeah. Masani masaya kuku. This is how your kuku should be looking at this point. Remember that marinade that we have left over? This is where it comes in. Ooh, this chicken is gonna be fire! So now I'm going to add in my water. Just a bit to make the stew. So here is how the stew looks! It looks so delicious. Ooh, can't wait to eat this. So I'll cover this and let it simmer. Ooh. Where? Guys, I almost forgot I had my two intestines, but these ones cook quite fast. So I'm going to just let them dive into the sauce. Bury them in the sauce, right in there. Those are usually the best pieces for the kids. If you have any kids around. So guys, the moment of truth is here. Today, at least I have a, a tester, or whatever guys call them. A person who is going to taste. So a bit of rice, just a bit for tasting. And in my rice, sorry I had not shown you before, I boiled it with salt, oil, and bay leaves for the taste, yeah. So, mm -hmm. and since she likes the kamgu, I'll put this, this for her. I truly hope she enjoys it. I'm not sure how it tastes, but yeah. I'm not sure if you're getting a clear view of how it looks, but yeah, this is how the chicken looks. So amazing. Let's hear from the tester what she feels. So guys, that is my tester ready to do the deed. My little sister there. Hmm. How do you like it, Abby? <laughs> I this piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The very tender. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Whoa. I can feel all the other things spices that you put here. Wow. Oh, thank you. I hope you're not just saying that to make me feel nice or good about myself. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're not going to try that casoda to wash it down? <clears throat> so guys, we have come to the end of the video and just as you have seen, I am sure this recipe is definitely a win. It's definitely tasty just from the tasters comments and the tasters facial expression you can tell that the food is great and is amazing this recipe is definitely worth trying out 
and I am looking forward to hearing your comments on how beautiful you recreated the recipe and your tweaks maybe if you'd like to add a bit more spices tell me about it let's interact and know what other recipe we can come up with again and what we can cook forgive my outfit i was just making dinner for my family and i was ready to go to bed so yeah i came as i was anyways please like share comment subscribe to my channel and let me know let me know in the comment section how you like my channel and what else you'd like to see in my channel so asante sana and karibu tena please hit that subscribe button i really insist hit the subscribe button thank you and have a good night bye